Hey guys, Rexner here, and today we are going to be playing Nightmare at Charles. Now, this is another Five Nights at Freddy's fan game. As you can see, the animatronics are a bit different. Um, the thing that's interesting to me, right, is that this looks like a type of rabbit character, bunny character, similar to Bonnie, but the problem is that Bonnie is purple, usually, in most cases. So, Bonnie, in this case, is not purple, and I'm assuming that this is Charles, maybe? This is Charles the Rabbit. We will see. Also, there's a dog animatronic, and this is not those nights at Rachel's, guys, so this is also interesting. Now, there's also a purple version of Foxy, but it has kind of like a Bonnie nose, or Freddy's nose. I don't know. It's They're all different in their own way, but hopefully you guys will enjoy this game. And if you do, please make sure you smash that like button. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this and hit new game and see what we have from here. Okay, so it says, letter from the CPZ Entertainment, Dear Mr. Howard, we are more than glad to accept you to this new face of entertainment and enthusiasm and compassion really stood out from the crowd. You will start your new job as a security guard during the night shift where you will be monitoring the security cameras to ensure nobody breaks into the restaurant at night and tries to steal or vandalize any important equipment. If you do see somebody on the cameras, please do not hesitate to call 911. They could be a potential threat to the animatronics. You will start your shift on the 16th at 11:30, so please do not be late you must be on time for your time on the job okay remember your job is more than meets the eye interesting so i noticed that it says call 911 huh. i have not played a five nights at freddy's game where it said call 911 but we will find out what that is all about right now okay so looks like your standard five nights at freddy's game 12 a.m we have a call um, there's a door here. It looks like there's a camera as well. Okay, one of those freaked out cameras. Okay, are you kidding me? Thank you. So we've got hey, all of our animatronics here. <clears throat> Night one. Hey man, I heard you passed your job interview the other yes, day. Yes, we and did, did, apparently. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm really glad you decided you quit your crappy job oh. at the fast food place. Oh, I mean, look at that. Rude customers, low pay, and nasty employees. Oh, is that an endo? Who would want to work at oh, a place God. like that? Oh, God. Nobody. But let's not keep rambling about rubbish jobs. Let okay, us talk so about how much of an improvement is... Charles Pizza Zone is compared to that rundown, crappy Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria like the staff. Look at this camera. The staff are very polite to our customers. We always do our best to keep the children's behavior under control. <laughs> you know what they say, service with a smile. Oh my god, look at this and picture right here. always hot and ready, unlike Freddy's Pizza. Oh, it's like Cece's Pizza. No heart put into it. The pizza was almost always served cold with a side order of bugs being cooked inside. Oh my Not god. Really bad, but the staff clearly only worked there for the sake of the money. Like one time I was at my nephew's birthday party and some brats pushed him away from the Pac-Man and he scraped his elbow upon impact. Okay, please stop. Please stop. He was for help but the staff didn't seem to Oh my god, fair. please stop. Let me out. It didn't help Holy that moly. the kids were laughing at him when he was in freaking pain. There we go. I am so glad that place was demolished last week. It closed the in 1994 heck? and stood abandoned for 14 years. Uh, okay. You know what? Stop! I think you get the picture. <laughs> How about we talk about the animatronics instead? These animatronics are massive improvements over the uncanny oh, no, no. characters from that damn pizzeria. Oh my Children god. seem to mind Ashley and Billy when they come down from the stage to meet and greet. We still get some crying kids, but for the most part... Why can I not open this? However, oh, at God. night, things change. Come what on! Is this game is bugged! It's a little uh, glitchy when it's past 11 p.m. The engineers don't give a clear answer of why this happens. They oh, there we go. I got the camera figured out. Animatronics were designed with a night mode that wasn't handled correctly and they're trying to get it fixed but in the meantime you have is there to no way to the open cameras it? okay what the heck to make sure they're not getting too close to you uh -huh. when they do shut the doors of them uh -huh. However, don't leave them shut you see the power system is measured by how long you keep the doors closed and by uh -huh. how long you look at the cameras so you're gonna need to keep track of your power meter Okay. Uh huh. Say. Right. That should be everything. I hope you make it Wait, through your. Wait. What about these vents? You didn't say nothing about the vents. And please 
Don't drain your power. All right, this should be a simple night then. If he didn't say anything about okay. the vents, we should be okay. And All right, you're back. Can I please? Can I please? There you go. All right. So, looks like as long I think this is the only thing we're going to have to really deal with. If something gets into the vents, We'll deal with it as it comes. All right, so we have one, two, three animatronics here. We've got an endotronic here. We've got this guy creeping out. Is this a panda? We've got a panda there, and so far nothing has even moved a muscle, and it's already 3 a.m. So we're looking okay. Now this is my question, right? This one, I understand there's a vent snare. It takes forever to open and close, but it, there is one nonetheless. But there's nothing to close this vent. So if something goes in there, I'm screwed. But for now, we're just going to keep our focus on these three guys because I'm assuming with this first night. Wait, did this open up a little more? I think it did. I think it did, but I'm not... Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, crap. He's in the room. Maybe. Is he in the room? No. Okay. Jump the gun. Oh, crap. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so Purple Foxy has tried to attack us. And this bear is still chilling. <clears throat> okay, Purple Foxy, you can go away any time now. What is that? Oh, I thought this was an animatronic right here. Purple Foxy's still here. And none of the other animatronics have moved. Does that mean that he left that little magical... No? There he goes. Okay, so he's gone. But I want to locate where he went before I do anything else. Where did you go? What the? Okay. I thought for some reason he was... He had his knees on the table. But he didn't. Okay, the dog is still here. Purple Foxy is there. And... What is that? Is that something outside the door? No, it's just a stack of TVs. Okay, I'm getting paranoid now, guys. It's uh, a stage of paranoia. Purple Foxy's there. Okay, we're good. Let's sit here for a second <clears throat> and look at this room. So, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So, for a place that doesn't like Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, I noticed that there's a lot of pictures of this Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Okay, nothing here, so let's take another look. And we have the cupcake, but no Chica. And these animatronics... Okay, hold on. Time out. Something has moved once again. Oh, whoa, ho, ho, creepy. All right, so he's moved up a little bit. Let's see if he comes in for an attack. This panda is good. So, so far, we're not looking too bad. We have our family. 5 a.m. Did you move up? No, you're still there. Okay. So these vents, though, guys. Honestly, these vents I'm a bit worried about. I think we should make it to 6 a.m. without another attack, and if that's the case, then this has been a pretty simple night. What was that noise? <laughs> what the heck was that noise? Uh, okay. I don't know what that was, but nothing seems to be that hissing, that hissing noise. It reminds me of like Friday the 13th, and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. All right, nothing is attacking us. I don't want to be sad like these guys, so hopefully we will win this night. Any minute, you can hit 6 a.m. Please hit 6 a.m. already. Oh, my God. I mean, this is not too bad. We've only gotten attacked once. 6 a.m. Yay, guys. Congratulations. We went ahead and beat our, the first night of this game already. So, pretty simple so far. It looks like we have pretty basic attacks to this point. Now, we need to be able to make sure that we survive this. Hello? Hello, hello. We're still here. We're still alive you're somehow. This, and you made it to day two. Haha, -ha, we did. Thank you I so much. You first day with no troubles. What is that music? Anyways, today was pretty crazy. Uh... It was actually what the a heck fist is that fight music? against two moms. What? Crazy, huh? Fist fight between two moms. Them to snap, but from what I heard, one of okay. Kids was taking Look at a these two things to right here. What the run. heck are they looking at? And the son of the other mom. The cupcake and this miniature I really Chester. I don't know the exact reason, but it's not important right now. Okay. I won't be talking as much. As oh my God! There's a lot of music going on. I don't like it. Billy be become more aggressive. 
as the week progresses. But I did forget to mention <gasps> oh, two things. The dog! Oh my One god! Is the vent snare. He's got this beautiful eyes, though. He really does. No homo. He's got some beautiful eyes. There. Look at these eyes. Look at these blues. Back out. And also, oh, crap. He's already moved, too. Character in the prize center. Prize center. The very left this guy. Of the screen. Yes, the uh, big panda. That's Morton the Mole. This mole? Character is what? Wait a second. A mole? This guy doesn't look like a mole at all. But when it gets uh, quiet, this must not be the prize center. Hold on. There's an animatronic that I'm missing. Find where the people are. Oh, here we go. I don't see anything, though. Oh, this right here. Oh, crap. There's a mole. Well, what is this dog well, doing back here? He will make, your job very difficult, okay? make our job just difficult. Check the cameras and you'll I wonder what the heck he control. does. I hope he's not like that stupid penguin in uh, Five Nights at Candy's. All right. We are 81% already. It's already... It's already... Nah, it's only 1 a.m. and we're at 80%. That's not good. We've done very little to conserve power here. Okay, I heard a noise. He moved up. Oh, the dog is trying to get in the vent. Is there a way to close the... Oh, there was a... Oh, my God. There's a switch right here. The whole time, there was a switch. I didn't see it. I was wondering how the heck... If something goes into that vent, we're screwed. But we're not, because apparently there's a switch that was missing this entire time. All right, cool. So there's two switches, and then whatever in this camera... What the heck? Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, oh, he's in the vent. Oh, my God. Look how happy he is. Why is this guy so happy to be in the vent? What the heck? Look how happy he is to come kill us. He's got, like, little Lego teeth. My gosh. This guy's so happy to kill us. Like, calm down, my guy. Holy moly. Look, he doesn't look happy. He looks sinister. But this guy, on the other hand, is super happy. All right, have you moved? No. So our main character hasn't even moved. How about this mole? Mole, mole, mole. No, the mole's here. He hasn't moved either. All right, so we are at 64%, and it's still 2 a.m. I don't think we're doing too good on power conservation, guys. This is not a good sign. This is not a good sign at all. But it's 3 a.m. Uh, I would expect to be at about 50%, right? If we're on track, if we're on pace to do well, then maybe we're not doing too bad. We're a little above 50%. We are 10% actually above it. So we're not doing too bad, actually. But this fella right here has yet to move. All right. So what I figured out about this game, though, is that there are sound cues for everything, just like all other Five Nights at Freddy's games. You can hear when Purple Man comes into this doorway right here. Or maybe even here. Sometimes I hear him early. So that is a good sign. At least if we just listen and we're vigilant about what is going on, we should be able to survive. But this guy has not moved out of the vent. He's set up camp and he's sitting in the vent. And there's no way that we're going to be able to save this power if he doesn't leave. Okay. Oh, crap. He's here. Close that. Thank you, God. Now what do we do? Because they're both here. So now we're not going to look at the cameras, apparently. And we're just going to listen. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to listen. Somebody walked away. You walked away. Okay, cool. So that one's here. Happy dog. Oh, no. What is that laughter? Is this mole here? Oh, please be here. Please be here. Please be here. Yeah, he's still there. Is this dog going to leave? It's 4 a.m., dog. You've been sitting in the vent since like 1 a.m. Oh. Okay, cool. Did he leave? Yeah, alright. Cool, cool, cool. Perfect. Hmm. I Wait. Does that mean you're here? No. Oh, that noise is when he goes over there. Okay, so when that noise goes on, he's walking to a, almost go in the vent. But So they're both about to go in for an attack. But we got some time. Hopefully. Hopefully this dog doesn't just come sliding straight through. Like he's at uh, some type of water park. Yeah, we got plenty of time here, guys. All right, so we're... Oh, oh. Yep, you're in the vent. Okay, are you here? No. All right, cool. So let me take a look at this. First of all, I'm seeing a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's references. Almost a little too much, right? This says Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Why would you put this in your restaurant if you hate Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't add up. That, with the whole cupcake scenario, a lot of this is... A little too close to Five Nights at Freddy's for somebody who doesn't like 
their pizza. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they put bugs in it. That's not my kind of joint. But, oh, okay, the dog is left, I hope. So, another thing about this game, though, is I think the graphics themselves are pretty good, right? And the characters look pretty awesome. In my opinion, they're, they're actually pretty cool. So, you got, like, this panda here, which I'm interested to see what he does. Then, we also... Oh, my God. Oh, my God, the mole's on the move. Houston, we have a problem. The mole is on the move somewhere. He's somewhere in this building. What the heck? Is he in this? Crap, guys. Oh, my God. Close that. Oh, there's the mole! You little sneaky snake. He tried to come in. Uh-oh. Oh, you're here. All right, we're good. This mole tried to come in here, and he shut down all the cameras. Sneaky mole. But anyways, guys, like I was saying, the graphics of this game are not too bad, and I actually am enjoying playing this. So that's a perfect segue to go ahead and wrap up the video. We have successfully done two nights of this game, and I'm pretty proud of ourselves. But before we get into night three, the video's already run pretty long to this point, so I'm going to wrap it up here. And if you guys want to see more of this game, I would be more than happy to play it for you guys. I'm actually enjoying it a lot. So thank you guys so much for the love, and... Uh, if you like I said if you've made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed to the channel Please make sure you go right down there hit that subscribe button before it is too late guys I want you in here from the beginning so we can go ahead and grow together guys That would be awesome and amazing and make sure you hit that bell notification So you're the first one in here to this awesome content guys, so I'm gonna wrap up the video Like I said, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace out